Hi, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be working out whether this sum from n equals 1 to infinity of sine of 1 over n converges or diverges. And the reason I think this is quite interesting is because this guy here is pretty similar to the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n. And that's because sine of x is approximately x for small values of x. And this thing here diverges. However, that's not enough to say that this thing here diverges because in fact this guy here is always strictly less than this guy here. So sine of 1 over n is strictly less than 1 over n. So perhaps this could just about converge because we know this guy here barely diverges. It diverges really slowly. Anyway, how do we deal with this? Well, firstly, I'm going to just draw a sine graph. Uh, so if I draw my axes like this and then sine looks a little bit like that and then if I draw this straight line here from the origin to this point of where the graph hits its maximum so the coordinates there are pi over 2 and that's 1 and now just from our picture here we can visually see that this straight line is strictly beneath the sine x graph um, and now you can prove this rigorously using the fact that sine x is a convex function uh, sorry a concave function um, just by taking its second derivative and what this tells us is that the y value of on the sine graph is bigger than the y value on the straight line graph. Now what's the equation of the straight line graph? Well it's not too difficult to convince ourselves that this guy has equation y equals 2 over pi x because it passes through the origin and it passes through this point pi over 2 1 and then uh, well the y value of this is just sine of x and so therefore we get that sine of x is bigger than 2 over pi times x. And this is for x between uh, 0 and pi by 2, obviously. It doesn't work for any of the x's here. Um, but that's actually all we need here, because 1 over n, even if n is 1, that's going to be sine of 1, and 1 is less than pi over 2. And so therefore I can conclude that sine of 1 over n is bigger than 2 over pi times 1 over n, and so therefore the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of sine of 1 over n is going to be bigger than 2 over pi times the sum of 1 over n from n equals 1 to infinity. So just by using a comparison, this guy here diverges to infinity, and so therefore this guy here also diverges as well. Um, so pretty cool proof if you ask me, um, and this inequality here is slightly lesser known. Uh, everyone knows that sine of x is less than x for positive x, uh, but this inequality is also true if x is between 0 and pi by 2. Awesome. Okay, we'll finish off there for today. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please do give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next one. Have a great day.